Hello everyone and welcome to the decks of the weekend. I'm back from my uh, August vacation and uh, you know returning, resuming the deck of the weekend where I highlight the deck that combat the most from this weekend. We're gonna start with this blue red drake. Anytime there's a new version of Preordain Counterspell Expressive Iteration, I'm in for it. And this deck just went for a clean sweep. Tano in one of the modern challenges by uh, TSB Yendrek and uh, what's he playing is uh, a combination of cards that was played by Piagonti in a couple of his uh, leagues uh, to a good result and yes we have Tondo Trap Train here this is the improved Augur of Bolast from Bloom Borrow which for two mana you get a 1-2 which is slightly worse than an Augur of Bolas, but you look at the top 4 which makes it much more consistent at hitting one of your key cards. This is both a Wizard from Flame of Flame of Anor and a creature that gives you some value for Flare of Denial. So you can also sacrifice um, the Tamiyo, but you know Tamiyo maybe dies to removal and doesn't give you that value that Flare of Denial does. Another change, another important change that this decklist has is Crackling Drake in the slot of Merc that Regent. Now, why do we have this? Why would you do that thing? Well, Arena of Glory is a very powerful card with Flash, as in, you know, we've seen this card in combination of Flash winning uh, a lot of games in both Just Sky Energy, Just Sky Control, I should say, and Boris Energy. Uh, but, you know, with Crackling Drake, you can also just one shot uh, people, just go attack for, you know, 12, and you just already bolted your opponent a couple of times with Snapcaster Mage. The shell is the uh, Flame of Anor one, and it has a couple of expressive iteration. Actually, this list is the one I, I streamed with, but the original list was playing Kozlex Return over Cinderclasm, which it just makes sense. This card is a little bit better since you can cast it for two mana as well, killing X ones. Uh, yeah, there's also a highlight uh, Vendilon Click. I wanted to show you another modern deck though, because this weekend there were two very cool uh, decks, but the second one is from another content creator, Aspiring Spike, who did a very good result in the MTGO Showcase Challenge with this uh, innovative list, innovative deck. It's a combo deck with using Shifting Woodland, coping Omniscience from the Graveyard. I streamed with this deck uh, this morning and I was very impressed. The video will come out in the next day. And uh, yeah, you have Malevolent Rumble, Cash Grab, and Seed of Hope, as well as Fable and Spiral to feed the graveyard to copy, to put Omniscience into play, to get Shifting Woodland, and then you go off. You have Karn, uh, which wins the game automatically with Omniscience in play. You go Karn, you get Ancestor Statue, you blink it, um, as in like you return itself over and over to get infinite mana, uh, sorry, infinite spells, and then you get Aetherflux Reservoir, and with an extra spell, you kill your opponent. So that is a win condition which is one single card that also gets your Awar Might, your Pithy Needle, and so on and so forth. So this deck is cool, this deck is new, and I'm very excited to see what uh, this deck can do in the future uh, modern post Nadu. We are only seven days away from the Nadu ban, uh, well, wizard, when Wizards will finally um, do this action that they should have done um, weeks and weeks and weeks ago. Uh, again, I heavily disagree with their decision to stick to the ban list dates and not take an emergency ban, but thankfully this didn't stop Magic Player from continuing to innovate in the modern, rather than just playing the best deck. Let's now go over to another format. Well, I said Nadu, I said it's gonna be banned from modern, but in Legacy it's not gonna be banned. And uh, this is another format where Nadu is actually showing off and it won a uh, paper event uh, from Michael Mapson and it's pretty cool. This deck is... So, we have seen uh, um, Cephali the Illusionist combo in um, in Legacy. Very easily, you go turn one Nomads or turn one Shuko, turn two Cephali, you mill your whole deck, you go Narcomy by Dread Return, you kill your opponent. Uh, so, why are we moving away from that, which is much cheaper? Well, first thing first, Naru is a good card. Like, Naru is just a very solid card. Blocks DRC, for example. You want to plow it, I draw a card. Uh, this deck is also a green shell with green and Zenith. So you have uh, a toolbox of cards. You can get Uro, you can get Endurance, as well as Nadu as well. So your combo pieces isn't Shuko, it's Nomad Zencore. And you have Spring Garden and Tuko to go off with Nadu, but you also have Bristlebill. 
and you in you have some like toolbox card this is another, another new card that i wanted to showcase to you it's keen eyed curator and it's basically a scavenging goose but bigger and it is uh, able to become a 7-7 seven, seven trample which is a, a big deal in modern in, in legacy right now with many rainy meter decks around you do need to have a scavenging goose effect you of course have ponder and brainstorm to help your um to help your um gameplay and you of course you have force of will to protect your combo you have caracas which works very well with nadu since let's say you have caracas and nadu in play your opponent tries to kill your nadu you trigger it and then you bounce it with caracas and you trigger it again uh, that is a, a pretty powerful two for one i've seen this list at some point it was playing queer and ranger queer and Dra oh, queer and script ranger uh, which also works with nadu but no, this list I think is the best one I've seen of this build of uh, of Nadu building Legacy, and uh, we'll see. And again, Legacy is so much more powerful than Modern. You have so many free interaction that this card is nowhere to be problematic uh, in uh, in uh, in Legacy. There are are definitely a lot of uh, blue black powerful decks around, but you know I love my uh, green black. Um, Credo Control, Eldrazi is also powerful, Nadu is definitely one of the many decks and uh, you know it's a doing well uh, actually it makes me makes me makes me happy that my Nadu playset won't be wasted once it'll be banned in modern in a week. As finishing off with uh, Popper where uh, Discover N uh, won the most recent Popper challenge playing Mono Blue Delver which uh, is a deck uh, of the past, I mean, this was a deck that's been around forever, but there's a new card, a new very powerful card in it, and it's called Deem Inferior. This is, the owner of target all permanent puts a second from the top, or on the bottom, but it costs one less for each card you've drawn this turn, and obviously you have a lot of cantrips, you have Thought Scour, Mental No Ponder, and Brainstorm. So this card can, it's sorcery, so it automatically costs three, but if you also played like Deep Analysis or any of the cantrip, it can cost down to one mana, which is a lot. This is basically a removal spell. It just puts a second on top or on the bottom. So it's a one mana, maybe two, sometimes three, never less than that. And just a removal spell. And then of course you have the 20 lands, 16 plus four Lorien, and the six terrors. And again, the Delver. So that's your creature package to win the game with. Now, uh, this is going to be... Um, it for my deck of the weekend i today's my first day back at work back in my office which is you know my room of course uh, i'll be going to the office though i'll be going to the mangoes workshop uh, after i finish uh editing this video uh we'll be recording some dual commander which is a format i've been loving to play uh, in paper in these uh, moments of um you know waiting for the bad list waiting for a new set to come out i made uh four or five videos on my main account on my Andrea Bengucci YouTube channel, and I will be recording paper as well. Um, I've also been trying Flesh and Blood. Yeah, I know that this isn't magic. Uh, that isn't magic. But I've also tried that game, and we'll probably compete in one of the tournaments in the next days. So, you know, I've been trying a lot of new stuff, but I'm excited to come back, and I'm excited to bring you the uh, updated daily content here on the YouTube channel. And thank you for watching, and enjoy the rest of this beautiful month that is august have a good day everybody